to my channel. My name is Little Mini Emmy Way or Amelia. Today is going to be a pretty fun video. It is going to be a full face of e.l.f. e.l.f. is such an affordable brand. It has really good products and yeah, I'm super excited. Now, these items are products I have already used and love and others are some new ones I get to try out today. So starting off with my eyes, I'm going to be priming them with the e.l.f. Light Concealer Stick. Now this is pretty cool. On the other side of the stick there is a highlighter, so I'm also going to be using that today. So I've never used this concealer before, but we're gonna try it out. So I don't know if this is my shade or not, but we're going to see. It smells like the Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks. It says to use the highlighter as an eyeshadow base, but I personally don't like shimmery eyeshadow bases. I just like a clear canvas, so I'm just going to be using the concealer stick. And actually, like, it has a bit of coverage. Like, I like it. Thumbs up on that. I have two e.l.f. eyeshadow palettes I'm going to be using. These are the Prism eyeshadow palettes. They don't really have names, but this one, I think, is Sunset. There's Sunset right there. These really pretty colorful ones and these more neutral tone ones. Now, I have had these eyeshadows for a while, but I've never actually tried them out. They are kind of just my mom sitting in her drawer, so yeah, we're gonna try them out today. First of all, they look much smaller than I thought, but it's okay. Ooh, these are gorgeous. Now, right off the bat, I am noticing that they are not matte. They are all shimmers. That might be hard to use, but it's okay. We'll do, we'll deal with it. The other one, I really like how they have the full length mirror. It's a really nice, good mirror. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. contour brush and using the lightest shade right here to set my concealer. Neutral palette, I'm going to be taking this really pretty brown and kind of blending that in my crease. So this is kind of like a chit chat get ready with me almost using the e.l.f. but I really wanted to talk about my new obsession is the song glorious i know it came out i don't really know maybe in like june or something of this year so that's not too long ago but that is still quite a bit ago but it is by malcolm moore i'm just gonna go get my computer and i'm gonna turn it on and you're gonna love it okay. I blended the brown shades into my crease. So I'm going to be taking this really, really, really pretty pink color on a C brush. I don't see it. So, since it isn't really showing up, I have used this product before, but I repurchased it for the sake of this video and because it's a really good product. I really like the mist on it, but it is the e.l.f. Mist Setting Spray. I'm going to spray my brush to kind of help the pink show up more. 
going to take this little angle brush. It's probably meant for like eyeliner and the eyebrows and stuff like that. But it has, they have tiny bristles and they're really packed tightly. So maybe that will help the color payment. Yeah, that helps. It does look really nice when I use my finger though. Another one of the products I am trying out for the first time. It is the e.l.f. Volume Plumping Mascara in black. It kind of has a chemically smell, but that's what all mascara smell like, so I don't mind it. So, so far, I do like this one, but I feel like the f actual formula is a little bit thin. So I feel like I have to apply a little bit of layers, but other than that, I really like this mascara. So the product I am using for brows is probably my favorite brow product at the moment. It is the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit in the shade Medium. I use this though. This is the kind of, it's kind of like a pomade, but you can't go overboard with it. That's what I love. With the other eyebrow pomades I've used, I've used the e.l.f. and the Ardell one. It's, yeah, it's hard to use. Like they can get really, really, it's like, blocky and hard to use but this one looks always flawless no matter what I do and I really just love this product and it lasts all day so taking that small angled brush with this brush it is so easy to do the little end and the little brush strokes because it's really really thin and small product at the moment I use it every single day in a lot of my videos, I love it. Blending that out with my favorite foundation brush. This is the e.l.f. foundation brush. I love this thing. I feel like I'm just moving the product around with this highlighting thing. And so I am going to be trying out a new powder. This is the e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. And this is in Fair Slash Light. So the packaging is nice, it's just clear. I have a few options for blush. I have this blush palette, and this is in light, and this contouring palette, which is Saint Luca. But, so I have this blush, or these four. This is not really my shade. But actually looking at it, I don't like strong, crazy blushes. Since I already have pink on my eyes, you don't want a lot of blush. So I'm going to go for these guys. Just taking this e.l.f. blush brush. I notice in when I edit, you notice everything. Don't notice how much you say and so now taking, like you say it a lot more than you think when you're editing. I'll be taking this bronzing. So I'm just taking the same brush, but I wiped it off and dipping into the product. So I really like this for blush because you can like go like that, for, but for contour you can go like this and you get like a nice line. Usually with brushes it can get everywhere and you kind of look like a hot mess, but with this one it stays right where you want it. This is a really, really pigmented bronzer. Now since that highlighter didn't really work, I have two to choose from. I have this illuminating palette and just a single little highlight. This is in pink test. It's kind of like pink strips or like veins running through it. I think this one is a, shows up a little bit more, so I'm going to use that one. Just taking a little fan brush and spraying it to hopefully make the highlighter show up a little bit more. It actually looks really, really nice. For our lips, we have two choices. They're kind of around the same shade range. But this one is a little more berry, and this one is a little more fiery red. So this one's called Wine, and this one's called Rich Red. I think I want to go with the wine. So this one is Wine, and this one is Rich Red. Rich Red, say that ten times fast. Rich Red, 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 Rich Red. Nope, 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 can't do it. These are really creamy. Oh my gosh. So we're going to finish this look off with the Elf Mist and Set Setting Spray. So here is our final look. My head is heavy, let me lay it down. Into your love, I'm gonna drown. So 
have found a few new products that I really do like, like the mascara and the lipstick and the powder and the concealer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and check me out on Instagram at little underscore mini underscore MUA. While you're there, make sure you follow me. So I've done a few looks using only that specific brand, and I wonder if you guys like these. Do you like the videos like the Essence one and this one? But I, I don't know, do you guys like them? Make sure you comment down below, tell me. And if you have any questions, make sure you comment down below or DM me on Instagram. And yeah, I love you all. I hope you're having a great day. Bye. So we're going to finish this look off with the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set.